Hi, I'm taking a few moments because something has been weighing on me ever since Friday and if you clicked on this video because of the title, it's likely still bothering you as well. We all witnessed and became rightfully angry at the display that the Olympics 2024 Paris put on for the entire world to see where they were mocker made a mockery of Christianity and our faith. I'm not going to make this a long video, but I feel like I need to say this because we have to make sure that we understand something. The world tells us that well, you're, you, you're Christian, you need to be Christ-like, you better be meek, you better be timid, quick to forgive and forget. And we're supposed to be those things, but we are also supposed to be like the Jesus that went into that temple and flipped over that table. There is a time and a place for everything. And I truly, truly feel like right now, as we sit through another, I don't know what you want to call it, as we sit through for the world to see another episode of let's beat up on the Christian, let's beat up on the faith that believes in the one true living God, let's beat up on the faith who believes in Christ the Redeemer, Christ Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They would never do anything like this to another faith because they know that there would be abhorrent repercussions. But they know because the Christian is going to just kind of be like, oh, well, we we just we got to forgive them. And we do. You don't hold anything in your heart. You don't hold any malice in your heart for anyone ever, no matter what. But that does not mean that we take the display that was put out for the entire world to see that was absolute filth and absolutely vile and debauchery and did not have to be what they presented as at a, especially at an event that is set to unify and bring international norms of sportsmanship, international norms of celebration across the globe. We don't have to sit by and allow ourselves to be meek. This is the time where we fight. This is the time where we come together collectively. We pray, we give praise and, and honor and worship to God. We thank Jesus for his sacrifice. We thank Jesus that he sat at that Passover table with his disciples before he went to do the most difficult thing that I'm sure that he had to experience in the 33 years that he was on this earth. So what we must do is we have to fight. Sometimes you have to be like a, like a Simon Peter. Sometimes you do. You got to get it. I'm not saying go and cut people's ears off. I'm not saying anything that is violent. Do not get me wrong. But I'm but I'm saying that the violent also take it by force in the right form. So to me, what that means is we have to go out, make our voices be heard. We have to go to these businesses, these sponsorships and say, we're not putting up with this. Why are you still aligning with these Olympics? We have to go out and make sure that they know we will not support you. Do not watch the Olympics. I understand that people feel like, well, these athletes have been doing this training and all this and that. We are Christians, women and men of God first. Those little medals in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of glory and heaven, and just the virtue of belonging to the one and only Lord above, Lord of heaven, Lord of everything, creator of everything, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one true living God. None of that matters. I think this is the time that we as Christians let the world know. We will not continue to put up with you gaslighting us because they've tried to backpedal and backtrack now that they know that the Christian community is upset and we're pissed off and we're not letting it go. We're not just going to sweep it under the rug. We are raising up our voices and we are not letting it just die down and we're not going to allow you to say that it was something that it was not. We all have eyes. We all are intelligent people. And some of us, as soon as we saw those things that they put on at that Olympics on Friday in that opening ceremony, our spirit man told the story. I know mine did. As soon as I saw it, as soon as I laid, laid eyes on it, Holy Spirit in me was like, oh, 
they're parroting and mocking and making a mockery, not mocking, but making a mockery of the Last Supper. So what are you going to do today? Write to the FCC, write to NBC Sports, write to the Olympic Committee. Do whatever you need to do. Look up and see who the sponsors are. I have to give it up to some who have already pulled their money. I know there's a Mississippi-based company called C Spire. They have pulled their, their money out of the Olympics. They did it right away. I have to applaud that. So we have to do the same thing. This is how we fight. We fight our this is how we fight our battles. We fight and we we don't allow them to just kind of sneak away and let it just die down and and then on to the next thing. You know, I remember when a certain C streaming, a large streaming platform had a, a show, I don't know if it was a movie or a series, where it depicted Jesus Christ as a gay person and his disciples were his lovers of something of that sort. Where, like, where was the uproar? Like, where was, Netflix should not have been able to get away with calling Jesus Christ something that he was not. So this is our time. It is, enough is enough. We are clearly in the end times because this enemy has become emboldened. That spirit of Ishtar is rampant. That spirit of Baal, Baal is rampant. We saw the imagery that they wanted the world to see and that they associated with what they did to show the vileness of what they think of our faith and what they think of our Lord and Savior. So let's show them in the manner that we know best by not sitting on our hands, but responding. We're going to respond to you. Checkmate. So thank you for taking the time to watch this. I just had to get this off of my heart and get it out to the world. Christians, we are the salt and the light of this world. We have angel armies. We have forces behind us. And we know that whatever battle we step into on one accord, we will win. So it is time for us to win. It is time for us to get the respect and to declare boldly and strongly for the world to hear. We will not put up with this any longer. We are not doormats. So that's all I have to say. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. And if I find any information, if I see any petitions, I will share them in the description so that you can see them and click right on them. Bye.